Your doctor has prescribed Breg V-Pulse to help you achieve a complete and comfortable recovery. You will use two distinct therapies. One, motorized cold therapy over your injured site to reduce discomfort and swelling. And two, compression over your injured site to further reduce swelling. Your doctor will provide instructions regarding how many days and hours per day to use your V-Pulse, as well as how frequently you should take breaks and inspect your skin. Breg V-Pulse can be cold enough to cause serious injury, including full skin necrosis. Read and understand all warnings and instructions provided in the user's manual prior to using this device. Do not use the V-Pulse if you have not received or don't understand your doctor's instructions. This video will explain how to operate your Breg V-Pulse cold therapy and wound compression. Your V-Pulse system comes with a container, a tubing set, a power wall adapter, ice bottles, and a user's manual. You will also receive one thermal compression pad specific to your needs. First, open the container by pulling back on the white tab with your thumb and twisting the handle in the direction of the arrow. Remove the ice bottles from the container. Then fill the container with cold water to the water fill line. Never operate the system without water. You have the option to add frozen water bottles, ice cubes, or a combination of both. If using water bottles, freeze for a minimum of six hours and then place into the container. If using ice cubes, fill to the ice fill line inside the container. If using both, then place the frozen water bottles into the container first and then fill the surrounding areas with ice. Using a combination of the frozen water bottles and cubed ice will maximize your ice time. Once the container is filled, close the V-Pulse by replacing the handle, aligning the dot on the thumb lock to the top cover, and rotate clockwise, listening for the positive locking click. There are several different thermal compression pads available to cover the knee, shoulder, foot, ankle, hip, and back. You will receive the pad applicable to your injury. Each pad has printed instructions on the pad and separate application videos available. Attach the dark blue connector attached to your thermal pad to the dark blue connector on the V-Pulse container. This connection can only be made one way and you will hear a click sound when fastened properly. You can ignore the light blue connector attached to the V-Pulse container. It's for an additional therapy option that your doctor has not prescribed. Plug the adapter into the unit and the wall. The system will perform a self-test indicating it's ready to go. There are three separate therapy buttons and a center start stop button located on the front of the V-Pulse container. The cold therapy button is on top with a snowflake icon. It illuminates white. The wound compression button is on the bottom left and depicts an icon of a person with various joints circled. It illuminates blue. Do not press the third button on the bottom right with the calf wrap icon. Since your doctor has not prescribed this additional therapy, the appropriate pads are not connected to your system, and therefore pressing the button will cause an alert and shut off the device. Once you've selected your therapies, then push the center start stop button to begin. The start stop button will illuminate green when the system is running. You can change the settings only when the system is stopped. Press the start stop button to turn off the system, add or change your therapy selections, and then press the start stop button again to restart. If the unit is unplugged while running, you will need to plug it in again and press the center start stop button twice to restart the device. The device will remember which therapies were being used prior to shutoff and continue with those therapies. The sounds from the V-Pulse are the compression cylinder cycling off and on and the motor circulating the water. You should feel the cold water begin to circulate. It may take several cycles until the pad is fully inflating and deflating. When using this system, check the skin underneath where the pads are applied as instructed by your doctor. Discontinue use and contact your doctor if you experience any adverse reactions, such as increased pain, burning, increased swelling, itching, blisters, increased redness, discoloration, welts, or other changes in skin appearance.
Remove the electrical cord and fill the empty container to the max fill line with fresh room temperature water. Do not use any cleaning solutions in the water reservoir as these solutions could damage the water pump and therapy pads. Replace the handle and connect power. Operate the system for 10 minutes and then empty the water reservoir. For the outside of the V-Pulse, use warm water with mild detergent including Lysol, 70% isopropyl alcohol, Cydex, or 10% bleach solution. Do not store the V-Pulse with water in the container or the pads. Begin by removing water from the pad by rolling the pad up while still connected, or place the pad above the unit while still connected. Squeezing the water back into the container, disconnect the hoses. Then empty the container and ice bottles. Allow the unit, pads, and water bottles to air dry completely before storing. To order additional components, such as ice bottles or pads, please call Bragg Customer Care, 760-795-5440 or 800-321-0607. To learn more, please visit Bragg.com.